AI is changing the game. But here's the million dollar question. Have we already crossed the line into super intelligence? Well, according to Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, the answer is yes. In fact, we've already entered the early stages of what he calls a gentle singularity, a gradual shift towards digital super intelligence. But here's where it gets interesting. This shift is happening faster than we thought, and the implications are massive. Today, we're going to break down how OpenAI's latest AI model, the Zero 3 Pro, is outperforming anything we've seen before, how Google's mass framework is pushing AI towards self-optimization, and what Sam Altman means when he says we've passed the event horizon of superintelligence. Plus, there's the race for AI dominance between the tech giants, and some unexpected players are making moves that could change the entire landscape. This is bigger than just tech. It's about our future. Buckle up, because we're diving into one of the most important shifts in human history. The rise of superintelligence. It wasn't that long ago when we thought of AI as a tool. Helpful, but still far from self-sufficient. Fast forward to today, and AI is evolving at an insane pace, thanks to breakthroughs in systems like Google's Mass Framework and OpenAI's Zero 3 Pro. These advancements aren't just about adding more power to AI, they're about making it smarter, more efficient, and able to do things we never imagined. So, what exactly is the Mass Framework? It's a new system designed by Google, which essentially turns multiple AI models into a highly coordinated network. Each AI in the system has a specialized role, but when they work together, they can solve problems far more efficiently than before. Think of it like a team of experts who each know their own specialty, but when they combine forces, they can tackle the hardest challenges. The real kicker here, these AI systems are learning to optimize themselves. They no longer need humans to figure out the best way to solve a problem. They do it on their own. This marks a big leap towards what many consider to be superintelligence. Instead of AI relying on trial and error, it's now using highly efficient self-optimization to work faster and smarter. And that's where we start seeing the real magic happen. Google's mass system is outpacing the traditional models, delivering better results with fewer resources. For example, on math problems, mass optimized models achieved 84% accuracy, way ahead of the models that just added more agents. Mass isn't about sheer size, it's about precision and collaboration. OpenAI's Zero 3 Pro, a game changer. Now, let's talk about the Zero 3 Pro model from OpenAI. If you think AI has already reached its peak, Zero 3 Pro is about to change your mind. This new AI model is already outperforming its predecessors, including the impressive Zero 3 model, and it's leaving competitors like Claude and Gemini in the dust. So, what makes Zero 3 Pro so special? For starters, it's built to work on tasks across the board. Whether it's science, education, business, writing, or programming, this model excels. It's been praised for its improved clarity, accuracy, and ability to follow instructions, making it an absolute powerhouse in the world of AI. But there's a catch. Zero 3 Pro is a bit slower than its predecessor, Zero 01 Pro. While it provides a higher quality output, it takes a little more time to process responses. It's a trade-off between quality and speed. But in the world of AI, the quality that Zero 3 Pro offers is worth the wait. What really sets Zero 3 Pro apart is its versatility. It doesn't just generate text. It can analyze files, search the web, reason through visuals, and even run Python code. On top of that, it has memory, meaning it learns and personalizes your experience over time. And the cherry on top? Zero 3 Pro is outperforming other AI systems on some of the toughest benchmarks out there. For example, it crushed Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro on the AME 2024 math exam, and it also beat Claude for Opus on the GPQA Diamond, a PhD-level science benchmark. So, why is Sam Altman so confident about the rise of superintelligence? Because AI is evolving so quickly that even slight misalignments in its behavior could have huge consequences. As Altman puts it, we've already passed the event horizon of superintelligence. We're in the early stages of this shift, but the acceleration is undeniable. Meta's ambitious AI plans. But OpenAI isn't the only player in the AI game. 
Meta is coming in strong with their own AI lab, and they've brought in Alexander Wang, the founder of Scale AI, to lead the charge. Mark Zuckerberg is all in on AI, and he's pushing Meta to not just achieve AGI, artificial general intelligence, but to surpass it. Meta's plan is to bring together the best minds in AI research to build something that goes beyond anything we've seen. And with billions of dollars being funneled into this project, Zuckerberg is serious about competing with OpenAI and Google. But why does this matter? Because the race for AI dominance isn't just about who has the most powerful system. It's about who can build a system that aligns with humanity's long-term goals. That's why Zuckerberg is focusing on building a new AI ecosystem that doesn't just solve problems, but works in tandem with the future of human development. Why does it matter? As we enter this new phase of AI development, it's clear that the technology we are creating isn't just powerful. It's getting smarter, more efficient, and capable of solving problems in ways we can't even predict. We're crossing a threshold where AI is no longer just a tool. It's starting to think, optimize, and improve itself. But here's the thing. We're not quite sure what's going to happen next. While AI systems are becoming more autonomous, there are still massive risks involved. Altman has been vocal about the need for global discussions on how to safely develop and control AI. Because while the potential is huge, the unintended consequences could be just as large. For example, small misalignments in AI behavior, especially when scaled to billions of users, could lead to massive issues. That's why Altman is calling for global cooperation to ensure that AI development is aligned with humanity's long-term goals and values. And it's not just about theory. Practical challenges are already here. OpenAI is currently locked in a legal battle with the New York Times over user data, and Meta is facing intense scrutiny over its own AI initiatives. Despite the hurdles, the march towards superintelligence continues. What's next? The road to superintelligence. So, what does the future of AI look like? Altman's predictions are both exciting and a little unnerving. He believes that by 2026, AI systems will be able to generate new insights on their own. And by 2027, robots might be capable of performing real-world tasks independently. This isn't sci-fi anymore. It's the roadmap for the near future. But with that power comes responsibility. As AI continues to evolve, we'll need to ask some hard questions about how it's used and who controls it. We're entering a new era where AI won't just assist us. It will shape our world. The question is, how do we ensure that AI remains a force for good? Sam Altman believes the best way forward is through collaboration and careful oversight. But whether we can get it right is something we'll have to wait and see. The future is now. It's no longer a question of if AI will change the world. It's a matter of how and when. With systems like OpenAI's Zero3 Pro, Google's Mass Framework, and Meta's ambitious AI goals, we're on the brink of something monumental. But we also have to keep in mind that with great power comes great responsibility. We're witnessing the dawn of superintelligence. And it's both thrilling and terrifying. What happens next is up to us. We need to make sure we're prepared for the challenges and opportunities that come with this new phase of AI development. So, what do you think? Are we ready for the age of superintelligence? Or should we be cautious about the rapid advancements happening around us? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the world of AI and tech. Thanks for watching.